So this guy in the audience is sitting in lesbian row. I say to him, hey, come up here. Have you ever seen this show before? He's like, no. <laughs> Good acting. Anyway, check him out. See if he's carrying. Pat him down. Pat him down. Pat him down the other side. You just lift up your arms a second so the horse can okay. pat you down and say. All right. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, Riley. This will be fine. It'll be fine. Okay. Everything's cool. Okay. <clears throat> when I tap you on the shoulder, please state your name and where you're from. My name is Joe. And you're from? Miami, Florida. Miami, Florida. And what are you doing here in Los Angeles, California, if I may ask? I'm here on business. Business? Yes. Would it be impolite of me to ask what business you are in? Um, the healthcare industry. The healthcare industry? Yes. Are you sure? okay. Yes. I know you haven't seen the show before, man. You need to give me a little more than this. Okay. All right. Okay. 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 <laughs> So, healthcare industry, eh? Yes. Sir. yes. Um, and are you here with anyone? I am here with someone in Lesbian Row, yes. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> friend? Uh, co worker, yes. Co -worker. And friend, yes. Co worker and friend. Yes. I see. Uh huh. You play your cards pretty close to your chest, don't you, Joe? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's that thing you did with your ass. <laughs> Are you originally from Miami? I am not. I'm from Philadelphia area. Philadelphia, eh? Do you enjoy the cheesesteaks? I do. Uh, obviously, a little too much. Oh, yeah. stop. Yeah. Stop. Don't do that. Anyway, good news. Yes. We're going to send you to a restaurant. Okay. Go on. What? Where? I don't know, whatever restaurant you want, go. Okay. No, it, I couldn't. <laughs> no, if you can answer a simple question, oh, no. we will send you uh, to a, which restaurant we send them to, Michael? Master of Steakhouse Beverly Hills. Master of Steakhouse Beverly Hills. Uh, do you enjoy the steak? Yes. yes you do? You like, you, yes. you, 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 you like, <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> um, I'm going to ask him a question. Okay, walk this way. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, why have I never watched this show before? <laughs> it is so entertaining. Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right. So, Joe, if that is your real name. It is today, yes. Um, Iceland is in the North Atlantic. Its capital city is Reykjavik. Yes. <laughs> no? Uh, so that means I got the question right. Yeah. So I go to the restaurant. <laughs> Yay! Finally, something for me! We have visitors tonight from another country, don't we? Let's find out where they're from. <laughs> oh, really? Okay, get out of here. All right. Uh, when I tap you on the shoulder, please state your name and where you're from. Zolt from Transylvania. Rika from Transylvania. I see. You're both from Transylvania. <laughs> this is very exciting for me because I've got my new Dracula hair tonight. <laughs> I've got my Dracula hair. Dracula, of course, from Transylvania, yes? Yes, yes uh, based on uh, Vlad Dracul, yes? Vlad Tepes. Vlad Tepes, of course, I feel such a fool. <laughs> anyway, welcome. Uh, are you on vacation in Los Angeles? Yes. yes. <laughs> How is the lighting? Too bright? Everything fine? It's fine. 
All right. Well, good news. Uh, so you're on vacation then? Yeah. Yes. Um, right now? Right now? Yeah. We've been here for three months. You've been here for three months? Yeah. What have you been doing for three months? We were uh, in during the day? We were in Rio. <laughs> <laughs> We've been in Reno, so there's nightlife there. Oh, all right. You, oh, you've been in Reno? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yes, yeah. <laughs> Yes, that makes sense. <laughs> All right. Well, good news. Uh, we are going to send you to a restaurant if you uh, can answer a question correctly. Uh, CBS is going to send you to a... I think sewer. Sewer, which is a very fantastic, a lovely restaurant. <laughs> a, a, lo a lot of, you know, uh, go there. <laughs> you, you sick of this crap already? You've been here for a long time. All right. So it's a good race. It's owned by Lisa Vanderpump, who's in the Beverly Hills Housewives of Beverly Hills. Um, <laughs> she's the, the English one whose name sounds a bit like a... Never mind. Anyway, look. Uh, it's a good restaurant. Uh, you're not vegetarian, are you? See what I did? Yeah, see what I did? Yeah, Okay, all right, now. Here's the, here's the question. Here's the question. Look, if it's any consolation, I get this about Scotland all the time with the haggis and the kilts. I'm just, you know, offloading some. I understand that not everyone in Transylvania is a vampire. Not everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I am freaking the... Hey, caramba! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You are freaking me out. Because you were like... <laughs> I was like... Okay. <laughs> anyway, uh, here's your question. Iceland is in the North Atlantic. Its capital city is Reykjavik. <laughs> um, who is the quarterback for the Denver Broncos? Peter Manning. <laughs> That's great! You're going to a restaurant! We'll be right back, everyone, with my new crack for the Look behind you. Scottish. <laughs> I think so. Go and check. We don't smell different, do we? <laughs> What's he going to do? <laughs> no, no. Sorry. It's all right. Everything's fine. On you go. Get out of here, boy. Well, you still can. <laughs> all right. No, 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 no. You're fine. You're fine. It's don't, right. don't be worried. It's okay. fine. Everything's all right. My name's Craig. And I'm Hazel. Hazel. Easter House. From Easter House. You know what? That's, I do know Easter House. <laughs> Don't tell anybody. <laughs> no, Easter House is a, it's, it's a, it's an area of Glasgow. Mm hmm <laughs> You could say that. <laughs> what are you doing here? Well, I'm married, this is, and we're out here in California celebrating our 34th wedding anniversary. Well, congratulations. <laughs> I'm married to a Texan guy. You married a Texan? He's up there. Oh, I see. Party. You're, yeah. you're from Texas and you married a woman from Easter House? I, I, we, ma yeah. we met in Aberdeen, Scotland. Uh -huh. He was in the oil field. We met over there. Oh, of course. Yeah. Yes, it's a story of a Scottish girl in a, probably in a bakery of some sort. He walks in to get baked goods. He's like, oh, hello from out of town. <laughs> a crumpet or a donut? <laughs> Or maybe I'm a rang. What's your pleasure? <laughs> <laughs> so where do you live now? Do you live in Texas? Yes. Oh, that's Cor nice. Where? Corpus Christi. Oh, that's one of the areas of Texas. <laughs> I've never uh, been there. Is it nice? Yeah, it's got a beach. And a beach? <laughs> yeah. And it's, it's all right. Yeah. Yeah. You've lost your accent. You think? You yes. Know, like, that, they say that about me when I go back. They're like, I do. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I've noticed? That it's what? actually worse in the morning when I wake up, that's when I'm really guttural and <laughs> I sound like an angry person, you know. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah, I do. Yeah, like, yeah, I'm yeah. Gonna, I don't go out until daylight, until <laughs> later on in the day. Yeah, people yeah, I'm the same. Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But have you coffees and then people will yeah, talk yeah. to me? Yeah, yeah. Well, meth. I meth. You know. <laughs> Not anymore. Uh. <laughs> anyway, normally at this point I ask you a question and then if you get the answer right I send you to a restaurant. But uh, I like you, so I'm just going to send you to a restaurant. What's the, uh, <laughs> the restaurant? Oh, thank you. Locanda Marita. It's an Italian restaurant. Wonderful. Oh, it's thank very, you. very nice. And you can take your Texas husband. Does he eat steaks and have a cowboy hat? Oh, yeah. Well, yes. he'll have a cowboy hat, but he'll, he'll eat meat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>
<laughs> and we both will. <laughs> we like her. He likes it. Thank you so much. Very kind of you. <laughs> <laughs> You're the chattiest Scottish woman I've ever met. I've been. <laughs> You're very chatty. It's nice. Oh, thanks. Yeah, yeah. It's I mean, nice do you go back? Do you go back over? Often? Every year, and as a matter of fact, I was there for six weeks this year. Oh. I enjoyed that between jobs. You right. Know, yeah. Back, so um, you just went over for a while. Yeah. I, I kind of have to get on. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> very nice to meet you, Hazel. Oh, bye. Oh, oh looking at phone. Oh, thank you. Uh, hello. Uh, hello, hello there. My name's Mike. I'm just checking in, see how you're doing. Uh, how, how do I know you, Mike? Well, I'm from Corpus Christi. <laughs> I, I like I like meat. I don't wear a cowboy hat though. <laughs> anyway, uh, so that's another place we better not go. We can't go anywhere at this point. We could go to Easter House. Okay. All right. <laughs> Let's go there. Go to Easter yeah. House. Yeah. We'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. People in from other countries. <laughs> yep. Take a look. <laughs> that is one happy French dude right about now. <laughs> Go check him out, I'll be right over. <laughs> At no point will I do any World War II humor. <laughs> okay. All right. Welcome to the United States, everybody. Thank you. When I tap you on the shoulder, please state your name and where you're from. Irina, Russia. Russia. I see. Yeah, in France. Which part of France? Paris. Uh-huh. <laughs> Tina, Germany. Uh-huh. Um, Angela, Germany. I see. <laughs> now, why can't you people get along? <laughs> you seem perfectly nice. But, we've got, don't be worried about me, I'm not gonna... <laughs> it's fine. We, we are here at CBS, the great CBS corporation that cares a great deal about the world. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to uh, put things right. We're going to send you all to a restaurant where we'd like you to work it all out. <laughs> what do Germans want? <laughs> Don't say France, because you can't have it. <laughs> huh? What do you want? <laughs> beer. Beer? Yes. All right, you want beer. What do French people want? Coca. You're right, we're right. <laughs> Look, with German and Russian girls, you've got to be a little more assertive, all right? You know, you know, say what you want, and, you know, and, and, then go, and then, you know, hope that they give it to you. All right, got you. <laughs> so, what, what, a, what a Frenchman want? Vin. All right, that's good. <laughs> Why? I, know, I can speak French. You're a racist. <laughs> And finally, what do Russians want? And don't say the Ukraine, because you can't have that either. Borscht. Borscht. So, borscht, wine, and beer. <laughs> hmm, do we have a restaurant that serves such a thing, Michael? <laughs> How about an Italian restaurant? An Italian restaurant? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what? Farmer's Market? No, no, uh, the Epco Center. No, come on, man. <laughs> An Italian restaurant, really? Is that okay with you guys? Because mm -hmm. really, we're really going to send you there, and we're going to film it. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to film it? No, no. Yeah, we can film it. No, we can't. It costs too much money. <laughs> well, you're going to the Italian restaurant on one condition. I don't want to hear any more trouble <laughs> out of Europe. Which part of Paris are you from? Uh, Gambetta. The center of Paris. The center. Centre, central Paris. C central Paris? Yes. Uh, which around this one? 20. The 20th? Mm. It's not that central. Around. <laughs> oh, uh, the environ of Paris. Yes. Ah, I see. <laughs> <laughs> which part of Germany are you two from? 
I'm from uh, Stuttgart. Close, no. Close to Lake Constance. Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Are you from where? Hanover. Hanover, yes, I've been to Hanover. Yeah? Yeah, oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you two ladies? Siberia. Siberia? And Moscow. Siberia and Moscow? <laughs> I think it's time we went on the road a little more, don't you? <laughs> Good luck at the Italian restaurant, foreign visitors. We'll be right back. You smell weird, man. <laughs> Are you saying I smell weird? <laughs> it's it's not us. <laughs> Is it kind of kind of bacony? <laughs> Go and check him out. <laughs> Ladies, when I tap you on the shoulder, please state your name and where you're from. Hannah, Ajax, Canada. Ah, problem solved. All right. <laughs> and? Sarah, Toronto, Canada. Toronto, Canada. And what was the first one? Ajax. Ajax. It's outside of Toronto. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> Where people decided to live. <laughs> really? So in the olden days, uh, this, most people went, uh, all right, we'll settle here in Toronto. And one or two of them went, we're going to Ajax. <laughs> How far out of Toronto is Ajax? Like 30 minutes. Yeah. 30 minutes by what? A walking horse? <laughs> driving. Park or driving? Yeah. I see. <laughs> what are you doing in California, ladies? We're here to see you. Really? Yes. <laughs> don't, don't, don't. They're Canadian. It's probably a trick. <laughs> All the way from Canada to see me? Yeah, we have the yeah. same birthday, me and you. Oh, yeah. we do? Yeah. Oh, do you know who else has a birthday? Uh, Bob, Bob Saget, Enya, uh, uh, Trent Reznor, yeah, and, and um, uh, uh, Lionel Richie. Yes. The, la the last one's a lie. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, but there's someone else. There is someone else. I can't remember who it is. But it's someone I know, and I'm going to get into trouble. <laughs> <laughs> who is it, Michael? That's because you're a racist, Michael. <laughs> he refuses to help us because he hates Canadians. Oh, it's just part of his racist manifesto. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't hate Canadians. How could you hate Canadians? They are nature's gentlemen. And ladies, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, ladies, well, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> If you can answer a question correctly, we'll send you to a restaurant. Ever been to a restaurant? What's a restaurant? have those in Canada. Well, I know you have them in Toronto because it's, it's a big cosmopolitan city, but in Ajax, do you have restaurants? We have one. Oh, you have one. <laughs> what kind of uh, restaurant is it? Uh, it's an Italian one. Oh. Yeah, just one Italian one. Just one, just one <laughs> Italian one guy. Italian. Come on in, everybody. <laughs> Come on. It's a good time. <laughs> Everyone else, they go to Toronto. Me, I'm going to stay here in age. <laughs> Michael, what restaurant are we going to send them to? How about Craig's? Craig's restaurant. It's nothing to do with me. It's actually good. Um, <laughs> but you have to answer this one question. Iceland is in the North Atlantic. Its capital city is Reykjavik. Who invented the telephone and where was he born? Yeah, Alexander Graham Bell. That's correct for the first part. Secondly, where was he born? In Canada? No! <laughs> but Canadians always think he was. No, Alexander Graham Bell, the greatest living Canadian, was Scottish. Did you know that? Oh, no, I didn't. Yes! <laughs> Face the truth, Canada! <laughs> Face the truth about yourself! However, we are going to send you to the restaurant. And when you're there, I want to think about what you said. <laughs> well, that worked out rather nicely, didn't it? Commercial break, then. Eh? <laughs> <laughs>
Ever been to Australia? Oh, you have? <laughs> Where did you go? <laughs> Melbourne? <laughs> well, go and check out these ladies then. That. <laughs> when I tap you on the shoulder, please state your name and where you're from. Chantal from Melbourne. Daniela from Melbourne. I see. Excuse me a second. With Australian women, you actually have to go around the other way. My mistake, ladies. I'm from the Northern Hemisphere. <laughs> Are you related in any way? Mother and daughter. Oh, how lovely. So you carried her in your pouch? Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> it's a kangaroo joke. <laughs> Just the kind of thing Australians love. <laughs> Sorry about that. So what are you doing in uh, the United States then, ladies? Just travelling around. <gasps> We've got Wandering the earth, solving crimes? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like Australians going from town to town, bringing the lucky country vibe to the poor unfortunates here in America. <laughs> yeah, something like that. No, I love America. America's great so far. How much of it have you seen? <laughs> Just LA. Yeah, three it days. gets much better than LA. <laughs> If you think this is America, that's like saying New Zealand is, said is you know, Australia. <laughs> it's not anything like that. I know I upset everybody in both New Zealand and Australia there. <laughs> Everyone's like, hi! <laughs> well, ladies, good news. Do you enjoy food? Oh, sorry. Do you enjoy food? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. What's your favourite type of food to eat? Oh, probably chocolate for me. <laughs> Excuse me a second. <laughs> Chocolate's not really food in America. It's what we eat after the food, all right? Uh, I'm looking for a kind of a main um, course yeah, option. Pizza. All right. Well, wait, I'll go back. Yeah. All right. <laughs> What's your favourite type of food, ladies? Pizza. Pizza, you say? <laughs> that would be an Italian type of food. Can we send the ladies to an Italian restaurant? Sure. Why not? All right. What's it called? Locanda Vanita, they've got pizza. Yes. Do you like pizza too? Yes, yeah, just like your mom. Exactly. All right. All you have to do to win. Oh, I have to, where did I go? This way. Yeah. All you have. All you have to do to win a free meal at this restaurant is answer this simple question. Are you ready? Yeah. Iceland is in the North Atlantic. Its <laughs> capital city is Reykjavik. Uh. <laughs> That was the most Australian noise I've ever heard. Did you hear that there? Did you, 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 made it, you went, oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, it was like I closed my eyes and I was at Uluru right there. For a minute. All right. Iceland is in the North Atlantic. Its capital city is Reykjavik. Who is the tallest living Australian? <laughs> living Australian. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Is the correct answer! You're a fine car restaurant! We'll be right back. I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking, too. Go and check them out. Apparently, they're from Denmark. <laughs> they are? You can tell using your horsey powers? <laughs> when I tap you on the shoulder, please state your name and where you're from. My name is Jorn. I'm from Denmark, Copenhagen. Yeah. Oh. oh, really? Yeah. And? I'm, my name is Birgitte, and I'm from Denmark, too. Have you two ever met before? Yes. Yes. <laughs> What are you doing here in the United States? 
Well, we are with some film students, and he's the teacher, and I'm uh, teaching drama, and he's teaching film. I so, see. Yes. Excuse me a sec. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, spies? you are teachers of film. <laughs> uh, what are you here for? This is a cheap television. It's not really even a television show. It's just, why are you, because it's free. Because it's free, right? Yeah, totally. Ah, I totally. See. Are you having a nice time then in Los yeah, Angeles? Yeah, definitely. Are you seeing all the different studios and such? A lot, yes. Mm, are your students enjoying themselves? Yes. I hope so. <laughs> Wait, are you? Oh, they're up there. Yes, if you were really Danish, you wouldn't have drawn attention to yourself. Eh? <laughs> the Danish are the Canadians of Europe. They are reserved, wily, and cautious with ham. <laughs> However, good news. How many uh, film students do you have with you? Twenty. Twenty? That'll be fine, Michael. <laughs> CBS, in their munificence, would like to offer a meal not only for you, but for your 20 film students. And, and you can drink too. And if you don't do it, you're a racist. Okay, but in order to get this free meal out of CBS, you have to answer one question. Oh my God. <laughs> hey, uh, you guys into Kierkegaard? I love a bit of Kierkegaard. He was Danish, you know? He was, yeah. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Obel, only the noble of heart are called to difficulty. That was Kierkegaard, wasn't it? I beg your pardon? Come on! <laughs> Christian existentialism of the 19th century. Yeah. <laughs> Spies. Anyway. Anyway, uh, here's the question. Iceland is in the North Atlantic. Its capital city is Reykjavik. Mm -hmm. Yes. yes. <laughs> is the correct answer? Wood Ranch next time. <laughs> That's a great restaurant. No? I, yeah, I, and you'll find reasonably priced. Not that that'll matter though, because uh, you'll be, uh, it'll be all free. And when you go back to Denmark, mm -hmm. you tell everyone in the Northern Europe, uh, in the border with Scandinavia, are you Scandinavian or European? Scandinavian it's and European. Oh, right. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> You can see why Hamlet was Danish, can't you? <laughs> oh yeah, we're done. Uh, well, when you get back to uh, uh, Europe and Scandinavia, tell everyone there that everyone in America loves them and whenever they visit, they eat for free. <laughs> yes. You look hot. But we don't have time for this. Because look, Germans. <laughs> All right. Take it easy and don't go far. <laughs> Did you see the look he gave me? <laughs> oh, that was funny. All right. Uh -huh. Okay. When I tap you on the shoulder, please state your name and where you're from. My name is Ulla and I come from Germany. I see. <laughs> <laughs> and you? Robin, from Germany. Yes, which part of Germany do you come from? Frankfurt. I see. <laughs> Home of the sausage. <laughs> yeah. Does that really come from Frankfurt, the Frankfurter? 
Ja. 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 Und? Ja. 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 I'll tell you why I've asked you up here, my German friends. <laughs> this is, uh, I sometimes, in the spirit of international fun and ribaldry, <laughs> I sometimes will adopt a fake German accent. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes I will talk like this, and people think that this is a ludicrous example of the German accent when you are speaking English. But do you think it is? Sort of. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Come here, kid. <laughs> Work with me a little bit here, right? I, uh, I'm trying to get rid of a national stereotype and, and move things along a bit. Sure. All right? Yeah. Oh. You're a great kid. Uh, so, uh, are you two related? Are you a couple? What is it? She's my grandmother. Your grandmother? Yeah. I see. And what are you doing in here in these United States? You're not uh, spying or anything, are you? No. <laughs> Vacationing. Vacation. Vacation. Oh, it's vacations. Yeah. Yes. Uh, <laughs> where are you going? L.A. That's it? Yeah. Oh, there's much better places to go in L.A. <laughs> yes, you must go to other places. Big, you know, there's uh, like mountains and towns <laughs> and beautiful... L.A. is... Tootsie Fruits. Go to other places. <laughs> Why did you come to L.A.? Do you have family here? No. I see. <laughs> well, I have good news and bad news. Normally at this point in the show, I would bring out uh, guests from the audience and send them off to a fabulous restaurant at CBS's expense. Unfortunately, this week, I sent 20 Danish people to a restaurant. <laughs> and somebody says I'm not allowed to send anybody to any restaurants for the rest of the week. So. Never mind that. The good news is, I have this copy of Barry Manilow's biography. <laughs> now, this can be yours, if you could answer one simple question. Barry Manilow, by the way, is the original David Hasselhoff, yeah. who I believe is very popular in Germany. Didn't he uh, reunite Germany from singing from the top of the yeah. Berlin Wall? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Come here a minute, kid. <laughs> That was good, you were sarcastic there, that was good, yeah. Because he didn't really do that, did he? No, not really. Okay, good. <laughs> he came back from Germany and told us he'd ended the Cold War. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you can win Barry Manilow's biogra uh, biography, which is a, real, a rare unsigned edition. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a rare signed edition by <laughs> If you can answer this one simple question. Iceland is in the North Atlantic. Its capital city is Reykjavik. Yes. <laughs> Very big night tonight, right? <laughs> Jack McGee's wife and his cousin Cindy are here. <laughs> you know Jack McGee that's on the new CBS show? He's second guest on the show tonight. His wife and his cousin Cindy are here. <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think you should be applauded. We haven't talked to them yet. They might be jerks. Let's find out. <laughs> They're not jerks? All right, stay there just in case. <laughs> Hello, ladies. When I tap you on the shoulder, please state your name, where you're from, and your relationship to Jack McGee. Cindy, New York. Cousin. <laughs> Stephanie, Van Nuys, wife. <laughs> Are you guys fans of Barry Manilow? Huge fan. Are you a huge fan of Barry Manilow? The biggest. Really? Scary. Oh, yeah. Do you know, the only time I was ever nominated for an Emmy, it was in the same category as Barry Manilow, because we, clearly we do the same thing. <laughs> and he won it, and I didn't win it. So as far as I'm concerned, you can take your Barry Manilow. 
I'll take it. That's fine. Have you ever been to see him in Vegas? Yes. He puts on a hell of a show, doesn't he? Yes. He's a hell of a hell of a performer, isn't he, Jeff? He is. Uh, Jeff Peterson, Cleveland, his lover. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So, where did you meet uh, your husband, Jack McGee, who's second guest on the show tonight for people who are just tuning in? I met him at a camp out. A camp out? He put his tent down next to mine. <laughs> yeah, he helped me roll up my sleeping bag. <laughs> Well, no competition tonight because I think we're all winners. <laughs> Did you hear him tonight, Jeff? Yeah, yeah, I heard him. The warm-up warm comedian. Warm -up Before comedian. I come out, the warm-up comedian. Now, we call him a comedian, Jeff. He is not a comedian. Not a comedian. He not a comedian. <laughs> but he said, he said to the studio audience, he said, uh, what is it, make him so happy his rubber thongs now? Right, right. And I'm like, right. it's not rubber. <laughs> it's pleather. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> really? Really? That's the thing? Like the, the lady behind you went like that? Oh! She's like, oh, no! Oh, the revolting thought of... The revolting thought of a middle-aged white man in a pleather song. Each to his own, girl. And so is the state that repeatedly re-elected Bill Clinton. He's like... <laughs> I can't be a stripper. Because I don't take off my pants. I just, uh... I just unzip. Yeah. The lady that was covering her face is now much happier. This, uh, this is from Katie. Uh, it doesn't say where she's from, but she said, uh, Craig, I spent four days driving from Canada. So I'm guessing she's from Canada. Yeah, must be, yeah. I spent four days driving from Canada to be in your studio audience on Monday. Today? <laughs> Katie, are you here? I see. <laughs> oh, you are here. Oh, uh, that's interesting, because a very, a very Canadian response, are you here? Which proves she is Canadian. She is Canadian, yeah. Yeah, because if she'd have gone, Whoa! I'd have said, no, no you're from Los Angeles. But if you go like this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So uh, she's at, she said, I spent four days driving from the studio audience on Monday. Can you please make sure it's a good show? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think you got the wrong place. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that's not what we do here. No, uh, maybe you have good TV in Canada. Right. I don't know. But here, in late night CBS 1237, that's just not the kind of thing we do. Right, Jeff? We're all about crap here, sweetheart. Yeah. <laughs> this is from Jason in Phoenix, Arizona. He says, Craig, we're going to be in the audience today on our honeymoon. What the, the hell? hell? Um, are you, uh, uh, Jason, are you here? Woo! Oh, oh there you go. yeah! Wow! There you wow. go. Yeah. And uh, okay, well, hold on, hold on. Uh, first of all, congratulations. There's a lady on either side of you. Who did you marry? This one here. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah. Well done. Wow, nice job. Way to go. No, I don't mean that in any way disparaging to the lady on the other side. <laughs> Either way, no, no, it would fun. have been a terrific choice. You're both very attractive. Yeah. I, I'm going to shut up now. That's enough. Uh, everyone's love. Anyway, you're going to be... Could Secretariat come out and dance for us as a wedding present? Who do you think you are? <laughs> Who's that at the door? All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, that's enough. Sit down. Yeah. 
Well done, everybody. It was good. Yeah. That's uh, that'll that'll keep your wedding going. <laughs> <laughs> this is from. <laughs> Really? On your honeymoon? You come here? <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is from Carol in Alexandria. I came out here because I just... You came out? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, John... You, pal. What uh, what do you think those people are thinking? The people that got married. Um, I think they're thinking said, that nothing could possibly be going wrong, and they've made the right decision, and everything's going to be great. And you said uh, when you're like, our honeymoon's going to be great. We're going to go. See. And you're like, let me guess where <laughs> yeah. we're going. We're going to go to Hawaii, right? Yeah. Well, close. No, we're going to a television studio next to a mall. <laughs> you're kidding? Yeah. Where, where, did, where did you go on honeymoon with Sarah then? Where did you go? We went to uh, Italy. And, oh. and like, so, uh, so. That's, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, but did you go to a television show in Italy? No, we did uh, not. Then, did not. So you, then you, sir, are a loser. Oh. <laughs> Finally, this is from Carlos in the Bronx. <laughs> Mm. Says Craig, if I'm a dude, uh, which I presume you are, with the name Carlos. Yeah, sure. Says if I'm a dude, uh, can I still sit in lesbian row? Well, absolutely. Look, there's yeah. dudes in there tonight. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't got my glasses on. <laughs> there's dudes there, right? Yeah, there's a. There's quite a few. Yeah, there's quite a few dudes there. How you feeling, guys? <laughs> Little uncomfortable? Yeah. Don't worry about it. You'll get used to it. <laughs> You'll start to enjoy the microfiche. That's right. I cannot help but feel they are judging our moustaches. <laughs> Go check them out. <laughs> okay, get out of here. When I tap you on the shoulder, please state your name and where you're from. Zai, Detroit. Mm -hmm. Cecilia, Detroit. I see. Have you two ever met before? Yes. <laughs> Where? Detroit? Yes, yes. <laughs> Are you related in some way? Yes. yes. Care to tell me what that is? She's my aunt. Yeah. Oh, your aunt. Yes. Oh, that's nice. So what are you doing in Los Angeles with your aunt? <laughs> well, I currently live here at the moment. Oh, you live here? I yeah. do. And you live here too? Yes. I see, so you thought, let's get together and go and see The Price is Right. Ah, we didn't get in. Well, we can go here. <laughs> is that what happened? No. She's I actually a big fan. See. You wanted to see me? Yes. I see. <laughs> in that case, then, you will know that in this segment of the show, sometimes we give away free trips to a swanky restaurant. <laughs> Excuse me, just a second. Excuse me. Come here. Excuse me. <laughs> Looked like you were kind of like, you know, a little insincere there when you did this. <laughs> kind of, you know, it's like I'm feeling a little sensitive right now because of the, the whole moustache thing is kind of like, you know. Okay. Thank you. I think it's dark. Anyway, look. So, sometimes we give away uh, trips to swanky restaurants. Oh, my God. All right. Uh, which swanky restaurant are we giving a trip away to tonight, Michael? How about Mastro's Steakhouse? Mastro's Steakhouse? Are you vegetarians? No. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Why you sound...
sound like people who kind of judge vegetarians in some way. <laughs> you know, we had an audience that didn't like vegetarians in the future. <laughs> There's an audience, there's an audience coming in here soon, in a couple of weeks, and they're going to hate vegetarians too. But I'm a vegetarian, although I don't like labels, you know, I don't like being called a vegetarian, I don't like being called a vegan or a heterosexual, do you know what I mean? I just do what I do. So, <laughs> it's all labels, man, it's like, come on. Anyway, in order to get to Master of Steakhouse where you'll enjoy free steak, Wait, no, it's not free. CBS is going to pay for it. <laughs> it's, not, it's not like they'll say, oh, CBS people are going, get the free steak out. They'll give you the good stuff. <laughs> but in order to get there, you have to answer this question. <laughs> Iceland is in the North Atlantic. Its, <laughs> it's capital city is, of course, Reykjavik. <laughs> <laughs> what is Detroit famous for in, that's got wheels on it? <laughs> Say again? Cars. Our automobile, automobile industry. industry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Wait, the wait, 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 come on. <laughs> I think I, I think well, I think you were kinda mean to your aunt there a little bit. <laughs> She's your aunt. Oh, yeah. And now you're gonna have to repair your relationship. <laughs> But you'll do it at a swanky restaurant because it is, of course, cars. You're going to Mastro Steakhouse. We were right back. Listen to this. I didn't know it did this. <laughs> <laughs> what? To make you shivery? Yeah, I'll do it again. <laughs> you do it to me now. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. Careful, boy. Thanks. <laughs> Can you hear the horse laughing? <laughs> All right. So here's the deal. There's three ladies over there. <laughs> One of them is Australian. I know. <laughs> Go and check. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> Let's see if you're right. Get out of here. All right. Ladies, when I tap you on the shoulder, please state your name and where you're from. I'm from Steph. I live in Dublin. <laughs> you're Irish? No. Okay. I'm so confused. <laughs> I'm from Let's go again. I know it's a very, very, very difficult situation. Please state your name and where you're from. It's so crazy. How can anyone keep track of that? I can All right. Ready? I have a... Oh, you have a question? Okay, what? Where am I really from or where am I from from? Where are you really from or where are you from from? Where she lives and where she's from. Oh, where, so no, where are you from or where do you live now? Where was I raised? No, just answer the question. <laughs> I'm sorry! It's a really good question. Okay, sorry. Just answer it. Just answer it. Just answer it. Answer it. <laughs> <laughs> It is going to be a long night. Sorry. Thank, goodness. Thank goodness it's nine days till Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. <laughs> All right, let's do it again. When I tap you on the shoulder, just say your name. Okay. Steph. From Dublin? Yes. Raised there? No. Don't get angry at me. <laughs> look, come here a minute. Come here, look. Oh, my dick. Look. look. <laughs> you're hogging all the screen time. I haven't even got to your friends yet. <laughs> all right, so you, 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 were, you were raised in Dublin. No, no, no we're in London. You, you're raised in London, live in Dublin, <laughs> yes. but born you've got in born in Zimbabwe. In Zimbabwe. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's all the time we have. No, no, no. All right, so when I tap you on the shoulder, uh, just... Uh, 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 Kayla, Sydney, Australia. From there? Raised there or...? All three. Okay. Everything. <laughs> Tracy from London. <laughs> Is she lying? No. You giggled. <laughs> Tracy from London. Now, you three are all sitting in Lesbian Row tonight. <laughs> they didn't tell you? No. <laughs> Well, surprise! Yeah. <laughs> Here's the thing, ladies. If you can answer a simple question, CBS will... Will you send them to a restaurant? You won't send them to a restaurant? Why not? 
You don't have any money? Well, what about you personally will send them to a restaurant? <laughs> oh. All right, I'll do it then. <laughs> but I can't go with them. <laughs> I wish I... Yes, the horse will go with you to a restaurant. <laughs> All right. Why, why are you three here and why are you together? Are you some kind of coven? What is it? I'm traveling. You're traveling. And she's coming to visit me. Yep. I'm um, traveling. Yeah. Will you come? How did you meet each other? In a hostel. In a hostel? Here? Yeah. Do they still have hostels for <laughs> traveling young women? <laughs> yes. Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> well, if you can answer this correctly, CBS, me, him or somebody will send you to a restaurant. Okay? Here's the question. Okay. Iceland is in the North Atlantic. <laughs> Its capital city is Reykjavik. Who was the most recent mayor of Reykjavik? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Here's a clue. He's Icelandic. <laughs> All right, hold on a second. Here, here, come here. His name is John Gnar. Sorry, yeah. Okay. Good. <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to push you for time. Who was the most recent mayor of Reykjavik? John Gunnar. Correct! Your daughter at a swanky restaurant, which CBS will pay for. We'll be right back. <laughs> You're Scottish. How did you know that? I can tell because of your look. <laughs> you were looking at me like this. You think you're great, but you're no great. You're... <laughs> you're... Shortbread. <laughs> Where are you from, sir? Gurok. That's the good part of Scotland. <laughs> what are you doing here? Uh, I live here. <laughs> <laughs> I've only been here 50 years. Didn't get a word of that. <laughs> Be very careful. You're sitting in lesbian row, which is cool. <laughs> but if you have to go to the bathroom or anything during the show... <laughs> Try not to leave an empty seat that'll draw my eye. <laughs> that happened once in a show about a week ago. <laughs> and I was left feeling rejected. <laughs> and that's when I knew you were Scottish. <laughs> we'll be right back. I know what you're thinking. Craig, your moustache hasn't changed since Veterans Day. <laughs> And neither has the horses. <laughs> so behind me, at the moment, we see Canadians. <laughs> now, be very, very quiet. <laughs> they, they're, they're very nice people, very, very civilized. Unless you give them a hockey stick, then they'll lose their mind. <laughs> but. Just go up and check, make sure they're actually Canadian before I waste my time walking over there. <laughs> they're actually Canadian. All right, get out of here. All right, when I tap you on the shoulder, please state your name and where you're from. Kelly Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Zoe, Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, Canada. The universe. <laughs> And Keith from Saskatoon. Canada? Canada. Okay. So, you guys are, let me guess, on vacation here for what we call Thanksgiving in America. Yes. <laughs> I'm asking you, though, why would you come to a place like Los Angeles, a filthy, scum-infested show business? <laughs> Nest of vipers. There was a free taping of the Craig Ferguson show. <laughs> Come here. Uh, Amazing. Come here. You know, you're really kind of shaming me there. Really. And all TV shows are free. Except, you know, if you do them and then they. You know, if you host the show, then it, it costs you in your soul. <laughs> Try and be a little more... Like, everyone else is playing, and you're just like... That's not the way we do it in Canada. Oh, come on, just get back. 
<laughs> so Saskatoon, eh, Jeff? We've been there, haven't we? Oh yeah, oh hell yeah. Hell yeah we had a fun. <laughs> we had a fantastic time in Saskatoon. What was the name of that theatre we played? Oh, the Sask Saskatoonian Theatre. The Saskatoonian. Yeah, that was the one. Wasn't it? It was. Uh, yeah. It was very enjoyable. We had a great night, and we went to that restaurant. What was it? Earls. Earls. That's right. Earls. We did we go to Earls, Earls in Saskatoon. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Well, you don't understand. I. I remembered something. <laughs> My Saskatonian uh, friends, my Sasquatchians. <laughs> I'm going to ask you a question, and if you get this question correct, then CBS will send you to a restaurant. What restaurant will it be, Michael? La Canda Veneta. La Canda That's an Italian restaurant. You can get maple syrup, I'm sure, but it's <laughs> <laughs> an Italian restaurant. You've got a big Italian community in Saskatoon, haven't you? Sure. Yes. <laughs> You know, you want to talk to her about her attitude. <laughs> you know nothing about anything. I wish we were on Adult Swim. All right. Here's the question. Iceland is in the North Atlantic. Its capital city is, of course, Reykjavik. Yes. Yes. But that's not the question. The question is... Where was Alexander Graham Bell from? East Coast somewhere. <laughs> Alexander Graham Bell, of course, voted the greatest Canadian. Alexander Graham Bell, the inventor of the telephone, which changed everybody's lives. Alexander Graham Bell, beloved by all Canadians. But where was he from? Mm -hmm. Well, we claim him. Canada. <laughs> Look, I'm not going to hurt you if you're wrong. <laughs> He was originally from a small yet beautiful oh. country called Scotland. Scotland. <laughs> I thought I was laying enough pipes so that you would actually... <laughs> However, the answer you gave me is unimportant to me. You are, in fact, correct. You're going to arrest me. Kind of Enjoy yourselves. Have a great time at the expense of CBS. We'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. So I'm checking my Tweety today, and also that thing that I look on in social media. <laughs> <laughs> and I see this uh, tweet from uh, a girl who's come from Israel to see this show and sit in the studio audience, yeah. <laughs> and I, I looked at it and I thought, what a stupid thing to do. And then I came out here to say hi to the ladies and gentlemen, and she was sitting in the front row. <laughs> At least I think it's her. Let's check. <laughs> when I tap you on the shoulder, please state your name and where you're from. Dior, I'm from Israel. Uh-huh, uh, you on Twitter? Yeah. Did you tweet today that you were coming to this show and you had come from Israel to see this show? I put it to you, you are the very Lior that I saw on my Tweety. Yeah. Why did you do that? A very stupid thing to do. Yeah. <laughs> Work with me a bit here, would you? I mean, like, you know, I'll, I'll say it's stupid and you go, no, Craig, you're so great. <laughs> That was a stupid thing to do. No, you're, you're great. <laughs> All right. So, Leo. Did you come here with anyone? No. You came from Israel by yourself? Yep. Uh, how long are you staying in LA? A month. A month? <laughs> yeah. It's going to rain for another month here in LA. <laughs> All right. Well. Um, if you could answer this question correctly, CBS will send you to a restaurant. Are you a uh, vegetarian or anything? Starting to, yeah. Starting to? Me too? <laughs> I'm married. Anyway. <laughs> you married? Nope. Well, you maybe find somebody in LA. <laughs> it's not a good place to find people. <laughs> 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 
Anyway, um, if you can answer this question correctly, CBS will send you to a restaurant uh, with a friend. Good. They won't supply the friend, though. <laughs> Unless you want to go with him. <laughs> he doesn't want to go. That's because he's a racist. <laughs> uh, however... <laughs> <laughs> well, man. Look, by the way, just so everybody knows, not a real gay robot skeleton, not a real horse, not a real racist. Oh, yeah. One of those isn't true. <laughs> All right, if you can... <laughs> I know, so close, and then I snatched it from you. All right, um... If you can answer this question correctly, CBS will send you to a restaurant or give you the financial equivalent of an enchilada. <laughs> the question is, Iceland is in the North Atlantic. Its capital city is, of course... Reykjavik. Uh-huh. Um, that was the right answer! Yeah. Sure, we always have the cat. Oh, look, look behind me quickly. <laughs> Not a boy band. <laughs> Not a boy band, but from Strasbourg. Yeah. Yes? Yeah. yeah. We. <laughs> Go and check. <laughs> All right. So, here's the thing, uh, beautiful young men from Europe. Before uh, One Direction became One Direction, they were also not a boy band, right? And then Simon Cowell made tons of money by turning them into a band. Just like I'm going to do with you. What's that coming, I go? <laughs> Are you ready? ready? Okay, here we go. Get this right and we'll send you to a restaurant. First, grab the crutch. <laughs> Hand goes up. I can't. <laughs> Oh, sorry, man. All right. I'm, I'm sorry. What? No, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, well, uh, uh, <laughs> do what you can. Yeah. Uh, hand goes up. All right. Leg goes forward. Okay. Leg goes back. Point. And then say. Then say, yeah, yeah, that's good. You girl. <laughs> you girl. You girl. <laughs> I'd like to apologize to my nephew, Ross, who I called an irritating little... Rocky Dinga. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ross. I'm too, Ross. Love you I... both. Oh, boo. <laughs> this got really awkward, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Going awkward fast. What do you think? I'm getting kind of excited. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> what for? Oh, never have I ever... Oh, uh, right, never have I ever. Let's uh, play never have I ever. Never have I ever... You put uh, your finger down if you have actually done it. Right, you okay. go first, Jeff. All right. Never have I ever had old rustic wood. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ross? Never have I ever had three ums and um button two. <laughs> I figured out what it meant. I am not telling. <laughs> Aren't young people adorable? <laughs> Good night, everybody.